Hello everybody, Toastwam here. Today we're going to be talking about the four different types of ordinates in Halo 4. The personal ordinates, the random ordinates, the initial ordinates, and the objective ordinates. Now the first one we're going to be kicking off with is the personal ordinates. So if you don't know what that is, let me explain to you. So now in Halo 4, when you get a certain amount of kills or do certain objective-y things, you start accumulating metal points. And when you get enough of those metal points, you get an option for a personal ordinance drop. Now, these things will come with three different options. These three different options can have anything in them. They could have rockets, they could have a power weapon, they could even have an armor ability. So a ton of options with these things. Now when people first saw these, they were a little skeptical about about it because it could be absolutely anything but we found out now with the custom game settings that you can actually completely change these individually in insane amounts of precision so you can have eight different options with each one of these choices and you can also change the probability that these things actually come up so you can make it really likely that you know you get a whole bunch of other weapons but really unlikely that you get a rocket launcher or a sword to kind of balance the gameplay like that if you'd like to then after you actually call one of these things in your points go away and you have to accumulate a certain percentage more and you can change both of these numbers the points required and the point increase multiplier that it actually goes up by so you can make it go up by 30 percent 100 percent 5 percent 0 percent any number like that to balance your gameplay to a T now it is totally very very important to note that all this stuff can totally just be turned off. You don't need to use it. You could turn it off, forget it's even there, just plug your ears, la la la, just don't even listen about it if you really, really don't like the concept of this. But if you do want it, you can totally play with it, turn it on, and mess with it. Then the initial drops. Now these things work very similar to what you're used to power weapons actually doing. So the power weapons that spawn on the map at the beginning of the match. And you can even set these on intervals so they can actually act like classic classic uh, weapon spawns. So you can make it every two minutes, every one minute, have a Spartan laser, you know, be ten minutes long if you really want to do that, or you can make it every 30 seconds if you actually wanted to. Also, you can change the team that can pick it up, and you can change the physics if you want it to fall from the sky or something like that. Then we have random drops. Now these ones are a little weird, and something that we really have not seen at all in the Halo games, and this is a set point where a random weapon will come at a given location. You can choose eight different possibilities of this weapon, and you can't actually, in this case, control the weight that they actually come in. They are just completely random. But this is pretty crazy, so you could have a center spot where it's really likely that's going to be rockets but then there's one way that it could be plasma pistol and then it drops everyone's in the center and it's just a dinky plasma pistol and everyone's super disappointed and the one guy who has the perk on that allows him to see what drops coming down knows that it's going to be a plasma pistol and just baits for it and then kills everybody that could be pretty awesome and then lastly we have objective ordinance which i haven't really heard anybody talk about now i'm not sure if you can attach these objective ordinates to things like flags and stuff like that like if you capture a flag you get a rocket launcher or the other team gets a rocket launcher to make up for their loss or something like that but I do know that it is linked with uh, do Dominion which is their sort of territories type thing where when you capture a territory over time as long as you keep that base it'll start fortifying itself giving you turrets on the base and also supplying you with ordnance drops so this is where these objective drops comes in you can place them near those uh, those bases and then they'll supply you with ordnance that you can tune and customize to your heart's content and those are the four different types of ordnance I am very happy about this customization because I mean originally I was thinking that's not gonna work super well for MLG at least the Infinity Slayer I mean I don't know how we're gonna fit that in you know cuz it's completely random that whole factor but since you can just basically have given sets like you get this and you'll always get these three options it could potentially work and also the fact that you can emulate classic weapon spawns is really cool as well for any MLG guys who want to go that route or any just classic guys you know they want to play you know the classic Halo game anyways that'll do it for this video if you like the video you can leave a like or a comment or you could subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day Anyways, 
Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, now time for the little vloggity vlog section. I don't want to post this at the beginning of the video, because that's so lame when people do it at the beginning of the video, because then the people are coming here just to watch the actual content, or just like, get over with this stupid stuff, I don't care about you. But for the people who do care about this part, you know, you can keep watching, I guess. Anyways, sorry I've been a little, uh lackluster at best about posting daily videos. I say that at the end of them and then I haven't really been keeping up with that lately because I skipped two days over the weekend. Um, But that's mainly just because I've been ultra super busy. I've been gone all Saturday and then yeah a lot of stuff happening. But getting this stuff back on track so you should be getting videos regularly again. So I just want to say sorry about that and Thank you for everything awesome. Like, you guys always leave awesome comments, and thank you. That's awesome. See ya. Bye.